John Varvato's Artisan Black, much better performance than Artisan. Is this a cash or trash fragrance? In this video, we're gonna talk about cash or trash, blind bought cheap fragrances that ultimately means, do you want to pay for them cash? Or trash, do not buy them. Starting with this Artisan Black. Now this fragrance here has a much better performance than regular Artisan, and by that, I meant much more depth and it does a notch better performance. How you would wear this in what situation and why, I would imagine if you have like outings at a restaurant on a coastal, like with the ocean, and it's like that kind of setting, warm weather, but cool ocean air, perfect. Say for instance, summertime, you wanna go to a barbecue and it's slightly upscale, and you wanna wear something that has depth, perfect situation, artisan black, summertime, more depth type fragrance. Now, when I first bought this, of course I blind bought it for 20 bucks just a couple years ago. Now you look for it on eBay, it's slowly falling off market, helpful tip. I would say cash out on this one. It's about $35 to $45. And I've noticed in the past that John Varvato's fragrances go skyrocket high upwards of $150 once they fall off market. So in that case, yes, buy it. Coming up next is a hidden gem that smells just like Versace Eros and it was under $14. But first, if you're new here, my name is Christian O. Thank you for choosing me. I choose you right back. Consider subscribing if you want to smell better for less. Hit that notification bell too. And the fragrance hidden gem of the day, it's called Police Rebel. And it looks like a skull. This thing here is what's not to like about it. It costs $14 on the fragrance discount site. It just smells so good. It's perfect for any age. I mean, this would be an awesome fragrance for a collector because the cool looking bottle or maybe it's tacky to you. It's also great for a teenager, 19, 18, even younger than that, fragrance and up, because it gives them an introduction to the world. And yes, it does quietly smell similar to this Versace Eros. Not exactly, but it's, it's pretty much way up there. You can smell it right now just from that spray there. So it's a great similar scent, way cheaper, very fresh. Other notes that, other fragrances that smell similar to this is called Oxford Blue, which is one of the closest related one. I'm not sure the price on that, maybe $35, $45. And another one's called 212 VIP Party Fever, which has the interesting cannabis note if you were looking for other fragrances that smell similar to Versace Eros. Next up, we've got four titles to go. Coming up next, a fragrance that wants to stand up next to King Creed Aventus. I'm gonna tell you what it smells like. And at the end of these four titles, I'm gonna give you about five more bonuses that deem you cash or trash. This one here is called, Are You Serious? Are You Serious is a clone of Creed Aventus. Apple, pineapple, rose, jasmine, birch. What does that mean? How does this one work? It smells very similar to Club in Me Intense Man in the opening. And it wants to go, imagine a sprinter. This thing sprints. Get me to that Creed Aventus smell right away. That's what it does. Let me show you what I could do. It starts projecting. He's trying to show off the first two hours. He's showing off. You can smell him. The scent sillage and scent trail, enormous. He's showing off and then all of a sudden he calms down to a skin scent after about four hours. So four solid hours of great projection. And then another four hours, you can still smell him and the scent trail is still going on. It's very decent, very nice for the price, which you can find at this website right here below supporting your channel and you get it for this price right here and another one if you wanted to smell better like Creed Aventus more authentic but it's a lot more money this is a niche version clone called Patron de Nuit it's also available at that website so both of those I'd say yes cash out next up I have a fragrance that's said to smell like Armani Code and it costs less than ten dollars will we cash it or trash it but first let me show you this one and believe you I try to find fragrances that I could go off on and trash, but when you further evaluate them, you're like, what's not to like? This one's called Penthouse Influential. It looks like a Dolce Gabbana light blue or light blue sun bottle. If you're familiar with that, you spray it. It's just a comfortable, easy to wear fragrance that's light and refreshing. Perfect, absolutely perfect. Age is 15 to 30. If you don't want something so strong, I wanted to hate this. I'm like, Penthouse, isn't that a magazine or something? I sprayed it, it just smells good, refreshing. Pri does do like three hours. Price is 10 bucks even on Amazon for this. I'll put you the link down below for that. Not bad. And here's the fragrance next up that smells like Armani Code. And some people say it smells like Terry Mugler Angel. It's called Yacht Man Chocolate, found for six to eight dollars all over the internet. And the thing with this, it smells really good. 
but you need to spray it 16 times to get anything out of it, then you'll get compliments for about an hour. Very good fragrance, 16 sprays, you waste a bottle, you might as well buy an Armani Code because 10 bottles of this would equal one bottle of Armani Code. Throw this one in the trash, folks. Next up, a fragrance I never tried, and everyone says it smells like Amber Crombie and Fitch Fierce. And this one I really wanted to hate, but you you further evaluated it. It's called Antonio Banderas Power of Seduction. It's got patchouli and clean light lavender and green notes. It's easy on the wallet coming in at $20 for this big bottle. How can you not like it? It's fresh. It's easy to wear. And I wanted to say no, but I'm going to have to say yes based on the performance, the price, and the beautiful scent that it produces. Power of Subdu Seduction. If you can buy it for $20, go ahead and get it. And now for your bonus Romani section. Romani White Gold coming in at $15. A $15. It's a very pleasant scent. It's like what's not to like about it. Personally, trash this one. Okay, you don't need to get it. It's, it's not necessary. Ed Hardy Hearts and Dagger. This is a lovely fragrance. Back in 2006, it really does dry down nicely, folks. If you can buy it for like $10 to $15, maybe go ahead and get it. But other than that, it's kind of a dated fragrance, and I will say, no, don't buy it. It still smells good, but again, it's like a 2006 dated type style fragrance. You don't need it. Trash that one, too. And then... The new one on the block. It's crushing all kinds of emails coming back. I love it. I love it. Smells just like Jean-Paul Gaultier. Is it any good? It's called 9 p.m. Yes, buy this one if you can. The link is down below. Great fragrance. Last eight hours. Just smells awesome. Chocolate, vanilla, delicious. That's another one you should get. And another one that we have on our list today. It's called Jaguar Red. Should you cash out or buy this? Coming up. But first... Forever Absolute, we were just speaking of Francis Kirk Tejan. If you want to smell like Baccarat Rouge 540, cash out on this one. This thing is awesome. They give you two bottles for $50, and it's under $40 if you just want one. Last long, it's an amazing fragrance for the price. Smelling just like BK 540, Baccarat Rouge. Next up, you have Classic Red Jaguar. We're going to think about this. A beautiful fragrance that costs $15 to $20, even on Amazon. It has a berry notes. It's fresh. It's refreshing. And it makes you smell very expensive. Smell expensive for less cash or trash? Personally, I would like to trash it, but the smell and the value is so good. I say pass on this. Cash out. Jaguar Red for the price of $15. It's well worth it. Hey, do you like these kind of videos that tell you how to smell better for less and cash or trash? Check out this one coming up right now. Be safe out there.